that hairstyle on you, you, you kind of look like Rosa Parks. <laughs> Hair, someone look how thick this hair is. I'm loving this hair. Where did I get this from? She was left in a state of shock, horrified and filled with uncertainty. The women. And why do people do that? I mean, what do they do with your account when they hack it? Girl, get me out this stuff. I got the pumpkin pies, which is on sale for five million dollars. Girl, I done spent $80 on sweets. Ooh, child. Who said putting on legs was easy? Be pissed too. They get charged 250 times every time the doctor came in to see her to ask her how she was doing. This Starbucks is packed. Hey y'all. I'm in the Starbucks line. Girl, my bun keep falling down. I'm in the Starbucks line. It is Sunday morning. I'm getting Kiana a Starbucks because that's what she wants. <laughs> um, luckily, I had already had my coffee, so I won't be needing the Starbucks. But that's where we are. I don't know if this will be a start of a new vlog. Or a part of a vlog that I'm editing now. I don't know, girl. But today is Sunday. <sighs> My vlogs seem, seem like they're all over the place. I can stop one, start one, and girl, I don't know. Once I edit, edit it, that's when I know, okay, this vlog needs to end because it's too long. Or I can input, I can add this one into the vlog. I don't know, girl. But girl, I was in the bathroom today. Y'all see, I got this blunt, but blunt, bun on in my head because I just washed my hair yesterday and I didn't put my wig or nothing on I just washed it flat iron and blow dried it or whatever and I put the little bun in it was about to fall Joey was in the bathroom brushing his teeth he was like oh babe I like that hairstyle on you 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 kind of look like Rosa Parks <laughs> y'all know Rosa Parks always had that bun and I had with her little glasses and everything I was like you know what you kind of right <laughs> you you kind of right, brother. But I can't get it to stay. I don't have no bobby pins in it. I just got it wrapped around the hair. And in a knot, basically. If I can get it right. Oh my god. Help. Mm -mm. Normally I would have freaking bobby pins on deck in the car but anyways y'all we were supposed to go to the parade of lights downtown Fort Worth today only if Kiana wanted to go if she didn't want to go I ain't gonna make no big deal of it but luckily this morning actually a few minutes ago she was like I don't think I want to go and me and Joy was like thank God because going downtown trying to find a park and then having to be around all them damn people hey welcome to Starbucks what can I get for you today yes I have a mobile order for Christy you said for Christy yes uh, alright is it the matcha yes alright I'll have it right out for you thank you and Kiana was starting to like matcha. I'm like, oh, but you never liked matcha before. She was like, girl, I, it's so good. It tastes like cereal milk. <laughs> I was like, it is good. Joey and the neighbor are about to go and get a freaking deep fry because they decided they wanted to uh, deep fry the turkey this, this year for Thanksgiving. Well, just cool. Okay. So I've been really chilling today. I'm, I'm kind of glad. Oh, I am glad. I'm glad I had one on the head and washed my hair. Oh, so all I got to do now is, um, I think I'm going to put the V part wig in. But I'm thinking about a side part. I don't know how this going to look. 
that means I'm gonna have to cut in that. I'm gonna have to cut the V part wig into like like the front part into layers or something because I don't think it's gonna look right if I do a side part and it's just literally long in the front. Oh, I, I never did a side part with the V part wig. Um, no. Thank you. Let me see what she got in hers. She got the vanilla soft comb, cold foam and almond milk. You know how when you, uh, I work five days a week. And I feel I, des I deserve a day that I, want, that I don't have to put on makeup or clothes. And today is the day. You hear me? Today is the day. Alright y'all. I'm finally doing my hair. Well, with the V part wig. And I did a side part. Mm, look at me. But I'm a flat iron this hair. So I'm gonna look how thick this hair is. I'm loving this hair. Where did I get this from? I think it's Ally Pearl. I think. I don't know. If I remember it, I'll put it on the screen. But I know it's customized to 200%, I think. And all y'all have to do, if y'all y'all probably already know, if you want your hair customized, you just uh, email them and tell them which hair you want and how much density you want and the length. And they will email you back the price or the link or whatever. And that's when you order it. I think it's from Ally Pearl. All right, y'all, I had to go get my phone to make sure. I'm trying to go through my emails. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I think it was from Ally Pearl. I think I had them customize a, uh, a headband wig too. So that's why I was get, seeing all those emails. But anyways, yeah. I'm about to... Looks like I need some freaking oil on this hair. But I don't want to make it... You know, our hair um, produces oil. Well, mine does throughout the days. And I don't want to put too much oil. But I think I need to, girl. Ooh. Um, I don't even know where to start. I ain't used to the side part. <laughs> I am not. Uh... I don't know if I want to make it straight, straight. Okay, well let me just let me just flat out the weave first. I think I and this is my yeah, this is my hair. What? Wait a minute now. I was about to say I ain't got that much leave out. Okay, this is my hair for the back. And then y'all with my U part wigs or B part wigs, girl, I just put my hair in a bun. I take out the leave out that I want and I put it in a bun. <laughs> I need probably need to start, I don't know how to braid, but I probably need to start flat twisting my whole head. So in the days where, cause I normally would take off the V bar wig and you know, at night when I go to sleep. But lately, that's probably why my hair is thinning. Lately I've been wearing the, the hair to bed. Like been wearing it every day. I don't take it off until I wash it or whatever. So that's probably why the front of my hair is thinning where I got it laid. That's probably why. Yeah. Girl, net. But um me and Keon have been putting out uh Christmas decorations. We didn't put up a tree. We Joey took the tree out the attic and all that stuff, but we didn't put it up yet. But the Christmas decorations, which we didn't have much uh, from last year and the year before, so um, probably tomorrow or something we'll probably put the tree up. And I've been editing, so I'll be putting out another vlog. I put one out today, and I'll be putting out another vlog. Maybe. Um, Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, and I feel so much better because, <laughs> girl, you know how when guests come, you have to, you want to get the room, the guest room situated and in its place. Make sure the the bedding's washed and it's clean in there and all that. So um, his cousin is not gonna come, 
So all the clothes that I told y'all that I needed to hang, they're still in that room, along with the extra TV. We've got two TVs in there, an extra table. So I hate that he's not coming, but I'm kind of glad. So I won't have to be, you know, focused on that room. I'm glad. <laughs> Child. That's why I was trying to be in a, a hurry to go ahead and um, hang my winter clothes and stuff to get, you know, to get it out of that room. But knowing that he's not coming, it's fine, you know. I'll just get it ready whenever I feel like it, <laughs> you know. But yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm just getting ready for tomorrow. It's work day. the evil crime story time I think he has two or three channels um, and this is about how a roommate the, the title is older leads to roommates horrifi horrifying secrets I guess another roommate was coming in and they needed blankets and she didn't, the, the, that roommate didn't have any extra blankets so she went and searched her other roommates uh, closet and seen like a mummified baby in her closet under all the blankets and she was thinking that it was fake so she picked it up kicked, no she kicked it and then she picked it up pick i think she said by the butt i couldn't really understand her by the butt or whatever and she said the baby was kind of heavy but she was thinking that it was just a fake baby y'all know y'all how they make the fake babies look real now she thought it was a fake baby but her and her, her and her other roommate went to sleep but they couldn't when they woke up, they couldn't shake the fact that they feel like this was a real baby. So when they went back to the roommate's closet, of course the baby was gone. So then they reached out to their boss or whoever. I guess it was a boss, their boss or whatever, and told them that the baby wasn't well. The baby, the yeah, the baby was in where they seen it at. So they uh, searched the dumpsters everywhere looking for this missing baby, and they could not find it. So that's where I left off. But Girl, this, what, well, child, I just don't understand these cheering, and it's not only the, the cheering, it's some people, for them, for this girl, I, like I said, I don't know the whole story, for this girl to, I guess, have the baby, wrap it up, mummify it, and then put it under your bed or put it in your closet, not thinking it's gonna stink and like I don't know how long it's been been there or what. 
But I guess I'm going to have to finish the story. But this, I didn't, I could straighten it like, like I really wanted, want to, but I'm like, why? I like the thickness of it. Um, yeah, I may curl it, like curl this part in the morning. <clears throat> but right now I'm not. But I think the side part is kind of cute. I was going to um, kind of gel this down since it's kind of, I don't know. No, I ain't going to put no gel on it. Uh -uh. It's going to get crushed it real quick. So, either, girl, this net is getting on my nerves. Um, looks like the same one that I tried to kill last night. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Let me see. I may put a flexi rod in the front part. Where is this thing on? Yeah. But girl, yeah, I'm liking the side part, girl. Oh, I could do like a little TikTok, but uh-uh, girl. My face is looking horrible right now. I guess that's what the filters are for. <laughs> um, girl, you can tell my hair dry. I need to put some, I'm going to put some oil in it. Oh, I ordered the Baskin Lather. Um, the scalp stim stimulator, that's the one that helped my hair grow. I was talking about it in the previous vlog. And I keep talking about it every time I wash my hair, but I just forget to order it. But I ordered it. Um, I probably should have ordered it from TikTok shop. I just thought about that. Because you get a commission off whoever, you know, purchases it. I wonder if I can still do it. I think I can still do it because it's from the same, it's from like that company basket. I don't know. I think I'm gonna still do it. I think I'm, I'm gonna use my curlers because these, these ain't gonna get it the way I want it. And then I need to use my little, uh, what do you call it? Straightening comb. Yeah, girl, I think I'm a, I'm liking it. Whoa. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, girl, this is cute. Do I need to put it behind my ear? Oh, <laughs> look at me. Okay. I do need to put some oil on it, though. There we go. Okay, girl. Come on with the side part. <laughs> and it behind my ear, too. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, y'all. Um, it's, girl, it's only 4.30. I'm thinking it's... I know it gets dark at 5, so it's like, I'm thinking it's about to be 7 o'clock. It's 4.30. I still got some time. It's far from over. For now, the fact that she was able to hide her growing belly from so many people leaves the detective seemingly baffled. I, I'm, I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around that nobody's called you out on it. Less surprised. Their shocking revelations and jaw dropping details surrounding Jessica's behavior shed light on the situation. Y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. It is Monday uh, and I am headed to work. Uh, I was trying to finish that little 
series, not series, but that little um, thing on YouTube from last night. Oh, look at my hair. This is how my hair turned out. Um, I think it's a little humid. But I only, I didn't, um, I kind of had to rush to curl my hair, so I only did like the front part. Um, and yeah, I was rushing. And then I think it's humid outside. I can't tell because, you know, when I, when I get out the shower, yeah, when I get out the shower, I'm like super hot. My body is hot. So my car is reading 57. And the way my hair is looking, I feel like it's humid outside. <laughs> I can't tell. But anyways, back to this story. Girl, I told y'all last night that the girl gave birth to the baby and wrapped it up, you know, mummified it and put it under put it in the closet. I don't know what she put it, but it was in her room with her roommates under some blankets and all that stuff. Tell me why when they did further in uh, investigation this girl had the baby in September and right now they just found it and it's November. Could you imagine a smell in the room? And nobody said nothing. And not only that, as they were looking through her room, invest, you know, the investigators and all that were looking through her room, they found like discharge papers of where she had the baby in the hospital. I'm thinking. They, they didn't just elaborate on that. I guess they're going to uh, talk about that more uh, towards the end or whatever. They said they found discharge papers I think they said, I, was, I watched this part last night. I think they said discharge paper where she had the baby. So I'm thinking in my head, she went to the hospital to have the baby and didn't want it. And then, I don't know how the baby got unalived, but you wrapped it up in the, girl, I'm going to have to finish the story. I'm only... 16 minutes and 38 seconds into it and the thing is 57 uh, minutes. So I'm thinking, you don't want to the hospital had baby. I guess now you decide that you don't want it. So you, yeah. Because that's the way they're making it seem. But she's making it seem like she just had the baby. Um, didn't nobody hear her. And the baby wasn't breathing when, when it came out. And she just wrapped it up because she didn't know what to do with it. That's the story that she's giving. Yeah. Wow. But anyways, y'all, I'm headed to work. Um, I just placed my order for Starbucks.
you're alone You're on my phone, running game But maybe, baby, when it settles in That you're to blame We could move on Pick up the way we went Hi, girl I am off of work Looking busted, dusted, and disgusted Well, feeling disgusted, you know not at myself, but y'all already know what kind of day I had out and posted that my Instagram was hacked. Shout out to Cherie. She's a YouTuber here as well. I'll put her channel below. Follow her. She was like, she put a comment under my video that I just posted today. She was like, girl, I believe your Instagram is hacked. And I got the notification. I got the email uh, as I was parking to work. And I was like, okay, I'll just check on it once I, you know, get to work. And get to work, yep. Yeah. That's what it was, girl. Somebody hacked my account. Uh, and I did all uh, the necessary steps to try to recover it. But then I was like, you know what? I ain't even trust about this stuff. Uh, shout out to D-Dub's Life. She's a YouTuber here as well. Go follow her. I'll put her channel below. She was with me every step of the way. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to start another uh, Instagram page. And just revamp my um, Instagram page anyways. And just start another one. So, I'll put the new um, Instagram page in my description box. I'm just going to focus... The Instagram, that Instagram page is just going to focus on my, <clears throat> you know, my outfits of the day or something like that. You know, just maybe it was just a blessing in disguise to revamp my Instagram. I mean, I didn't have that many followers. Um, I had 980-something uh, followers. Even though that was a, enough, you know. But it kept going down and it kept going up because at first I was at 1,015 and then all of a sudden it just dropped down to 985. So I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna stress about it, girl. Don't do it, girl. I ain't gonna do it. I did it. I got another Instagram page. Okay. Ooh. I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was frustrated that first hour at work because I was trying to, you know, recover it somehow. Then I was like, you know what? new page I ain't got time so just go follow me there but I am off of work I'm about to head to Costco uh, and beat this these people's child I need to get some uh, desserts because that's what I'm bringing to the to, uh, to the Thanksgiving in the in the uh, living room dessert because we're gonna have so much food and like finger foods Girl, it's gonna be a lot. I feel it. Oh, I feel it. I'm gonna go to Costco. I, I picked up like two patty pies, sweet potato pies from Walmart last night. But Costco is where I'm gonna get like the bulk of the sweets. I was gonna go to um, this other place called Buttermilk Skies. We went there last year or something. Um, but I don't, I don't feel like going over there. <laughs> Um, I looked on their website and they don't have like the sample pies that we got last year. I guess they're doing like a Thanksgiving thing and a nine inch pie is like $32 and something. I'm like, I can buy two or three desserts for $32. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go on over to Costco. And I was trying to think of somewhere else that sell like, um, pastries or cakes. I don't know. I'm just going to try Costco, being that it's on the way home. And push come to shove, I may just um, stop by Tom Thumb. But I'm sure Costco will have, have it all. You know? You know, buying bulk. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, today was... I think today was so exhausting being that um, I was trying to get my Instagram back. Yeah, I... Like I said, I wasn't stressing, but it, it just kind of mm, put me in a whole different mindset uh, earlier this morning. But I'm back. I, it just, yeah. And why do people do that? I mean, what do they do with your account when they hack it? What do they do? I don't understand what they do when they hack it. Because there's like no financial information on there it's just you, people you're following in your Instagram but I don't get what they're what, what are y'all hacking you freaking hackers <laughs> I, 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 
I can't say what I want to say. But, ooh. And I can, ooh, I can, uh, I can understand with the people with the big following. I remember one YouTuber and Instagrammer, she, somebody hacked her account. And I know she had over 500,000 subscribers or something. I can't remember, but uh, somebody hacked her account. I, I felt so bad. And I ain't got but 900, I didn't have but 980 some, you know, 85 uh, followers. Oh, I felt so bad for her. Oh, she put all that hard work. But I think her account is like way over 500 now. It's like quadruple. So, I don't understand what the heck. I just, I, yeah. Y'all doing this around the holidays. How, ooh, I've been pissed if I was making money over there, you know? <laughs> ooh, I've been real pissed. But, ooh, child, look at Costco. Oh, my God. My chest just started hurting, y'all. Oh, my God. Mm. Wow. Are you in, what are you doing? God. The way this parking lot, I don't understand. Hello, man. Hello. <laughs> oh, and I, he got me running over the damn curb. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Wow. But anyways, y'all, yeah, I was just getting on, on camera to tell y'all to follow me on my new Instagram. It will be in the description box. Please. Uh, I posted it on my um, community tab or whatever. Yeah. Just, just follow me. Okay. If you need to DM me, you can do that too. Child, this is... I, I did this to myself though. I said, I'm just going to wait, you know, so the, the uh, dessert is going to be fresh and go to Costco. I was all chipper and shit. And this is what I, this is what I did. This is what I got myself into, child. It'll be nice if they're serving wine for samples. So I can just, you know, is that a part? Ooh. Bitch, is that a part? Can't see. Oh, there's another park. Okay, there's two. So, ain't nobody gonna be fighting on no parking space. Thank you. I feel like we need this. Oh, um, for Aldo. Hmm. I think that's the things that we have in Chakuri Board. We have one for the uh, Chakuri Board, but then we're doing like a salad bar as well. And I feel like we need this. It's only $15.99. It comes with two boards and six of these little glass bowls. Huh. I could put like the salad toppings right here. So we have a big old salad bowl. Girl, get me out this stuff. I got the pumpkin pie, which is on sale for $5.99. I got the pecan pie. These are huge, by the way. And this apple pie. And this chocolate meat, whatever this is, and of course this. Oh, girl, I done spent $80 on sweets, <laughs> and the little, uh, the mine is $15, okay, I don't know if y'all can hear me in, uh, in there, because it's so loud, but... I got the pecan pie, the pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie was only $5.99. You hear me? An apple pie and then some chocolate mousse pie. Uh, Eight damn dollars. <laughs> we gonna have so much food. Um, we, get, we got a lot of finger foods like a charcuterie board and then I'm gonna make a salad. I got all the toppings for the salad so that's why I got more of those little bowls. So the top in, toppings can go in that on that little board thing because it comes with two boards and six bowls so like the salad toppings can go in those little glass bowls for $15.99 that's, that's good and then we have a big old salad bowl um, that I showed y'all in the 
probably two or three vlogs ago that Joey bought from Home Goods. And then he's gonna make a charcuterie board. They're gonna deep fry turkey, smoke a ham, smoke a brisket, um, macaroni, greens. I think they're gonna do, I think the neighbor's gonna do dressing. I, I mean, I eat dressing, but I, I always have like a little small portion of dressing. It just, it's okay. Um, Joey's gonna make this chili gravy with uh, mashed potatoes, and that is so good. I don't know the actual name of it, but when he make it, it is so good. Um, yeah. Um, I wanted him to make the green chili mac. I, you know what? I'm glad he ain't making the green chili macaroni because I would have went overload with that one like I did two weeks ago. <laughs> um. And then I don't know what else. Oh, did I say? Yeah, I said brisket, turkey, ham. Oh. <clears throat> Girl, I done changed the colors on this thing. But I don't know what other. It's some other kind of meat they were talking about. I can't remember. But yeah, $80. On sweets and y'all know I ain't gonna eat it girl keep, they gonna eat the sweets I know they gonna eat the sweets but $80 girl what, what the hell was I thinking I can't even get the words out what was I thinking y'all I done made it home poured me a glass of wine I was watching Lily yours truly I'm about to do some editing um and I'm gonna call it a night Joey and Keanu in there watching movies or well, a movie gladiator well he's trying to I guess gladiator gladiator is in the movie theater already he want to go see the movie girl i don't know nothing about the gladiators i don't know but he wanted kiana to watch it so she can <laughs> know what's going on in the newest movie and then plus they're going to watch uh moana is that the how you say the name because kiana want to go see that tomorrow too i ain't know so i can't go um so they're gonna watch two movies tomorrow but he just want to want her to watch that one so she can know what's going on in the next one I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I just can't come home from work and watch a movie. I can't do that. I got too much other stuff on my mind right now, especially like editing and cleaning and stuff. That's the only thing that's on my mind right now. A movie? No. Mm -mm. <sighs> Plus, he's going to be all busy tomorrow anyways with uh, trying to get the food ready and stuff. So, hey. Do you boo boo? But anyways, I'm gonna have to figure out some how to do this hair. I think I need to just I don't know. It's giving I need to curl it all over, but I won't be having time in the morning. But I like it though. I like the side part. I didn't think I was going to like the side part, but I do. Yeah. I think I do. But it calls for more. It calls for curling. Well, bumping, not curling. Normally when I have the middle part, y'all know I just tuck it behind my ear when it's time to curl it. But Yeah, I think I'm liking the sad part. Hey y'all. I just made it home. About to get comfortable. Ooh. I feel like the lighting is light. Let's see. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm about to get comfortable. Pour me a glass of wine and help prep the food or whatever we're gonna be doing. Ooh, child. Who said putting on leggings was easy? <sighs> but yeah, the temperature is dropping, I think. Because when I was leaving the it was like 70 something degrees now it's 71 degrees but anyways y'all yeah we're about to start prepping this food um i think the neighbor is smoking everything joey bought meat he bought them all the meats he bought the ham the brisket of course i got the tur uh, turkey from work um yeah and Joey's gonna make his little potatoes with the green chili, something, whatever it is. I think we're about to do a charcuterie board as well. Um, I think I need to do the cucumbers and stuff for the salad. Clean out those, wash out those bowls that I got from Costco. <sighs> yeah. sitting at the table editing and I was going like this. I was like, let me just get up <laughs> and um, clean up this bathroom, clean up our room and I think I'm going to wait till Joey get through cleaning, well not cleaning, cooking. He's making green chili. Um, I'll wait till he gets through doing all his prepping and all that stuff so I can just clean up the kitchen a little bit. Yeah, and then I'm going to bed. I am. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I think I, I probably shouldn't have had the wine. Y'all know how the wine gets me now. I get sleepy. I don't get tipsy. Well, I may be tipsy. But all I want to do is go to sleep. <laughs> Girl, I mean, oh. like to mix cleaning stuff I do this toilet bowl cleaner is good for like the um, the rust marks around the sinks um, and it's also good for the shower like if you have towel shower like the white towel it's really good when we had it at the apartment girl my badge so did I when we had um, when we're at the apartment um, this was really good for cleaning the towels. Like, it got them really, really white. I think this with... It, it was mixed with something else, but this works wonders. If you keep trying to get rid of the rust marks and using it on your shower towels. Amazing. But I'm always mixing up, cleaning stuff, child. You hear me in here? <coughs> That's me. Girl. 
I was trying to look for this hood, this certain hoodie that I couldn't find when I was hanging up my uh, winter clothes, and it was way in the back. But anyways, I got a call today. Child, I ain't even wore these pants for the summer. I got these from TJ Maxx for $16.99. They're cute. And they wide leg too, but anyways. I get a call today around 3.30. No. The first call I got, it was around, uh, I might as well just hang these up. Somewhere. But yeah, I got a call maybe around 10.30 or 11 o'clock and it was from a clinic and they were trying to see if this patient, if this patient was seen by their clinic doctor, well their doctor, um, because the woman was stating that the patient was getting billed for their doctor and she didn't see their doctor. I was like, okay. So I went into the patient's progress notes and I seen where this doctor seen her several times, maybe eight times, and then he did like a medical consultation on her. And I was like, yes, yes ma'am, um, he seen her. He seen her like, I gave her the dates and everything. She was like, okay, well let me. So she ended up sending a release to get the records. And then she, can, and then she also called the patient. The second call was around, girl, it was almost time for me to go 4 o'clock. And it was the patient. She was like, ma'am, my name is such and Well, she left a message and I ended up calling her back. She was like, my name is such and such and I need to get my medical records. And I need to get them because y'all are billing me for a doctor that I didn't see. And I don't understand. My doctor was such and such, which is a doctor of, of ours, like the main doctor. And... They're telling me that we're gonna say Doctor Doctor Smith seen me several times and I, and I'm getting billed for it and I did not see him. And she was like, "Well, can I come and get my records?" I was like, "Yeah, you can come and get your records. We close at four thirty. Will you be able to come at before four thirty? She was like, "No, I'm not gonna be able to make it because I can barely walk." I was like, "Okay, well, I'll be here Friday." She was like, "Friday would be good." So and then she was like, "Um, I just don't understand why why y'all billing me for this and this and that." She was kind of getting all rowdy at first. But then I sympathized with her because she was like, my uh, insurance is not paying for that certain doctor. Um, and they're billing me $250 every time he will come in to see me. And I don't recall that doctor. Can you look at my records to see? So I told her the same thing I told the clinic. I was like, yep, yeah, yes, ma'am, he came to see you like... I gave her the dates like seven or eight times and then he also did a medical con consultation. She was like, but he didn't do anything. All he did was came in to say, how are you doing? Didn't check no blood pressure, didn't do nothing, didn't, you know, didn't touch me, didn't do nothing. All he did was ask me, how are you feeling today? And I get charged $250 for each time he comes in. And I was feeling sorry for her. She was like, well, how do y'all, why do y'all build like that? I was like, ma'am. My guess is good as yours. I only attend to the medical records, but I understand your frustration because I wouldn't, because she has to pay out of pocket for this. And I was like, I wouldn't want to, you know, have to pay two hundred and fifty dollars for each visit. I don't calculate it amongst your sales, but the insurance is not going to pay. And I was like, she was like, who do I talk to? I talk to the business office, y'all's business office, but they told me to call to the clinic, and I called to the clinic, and they told me called the business office I don't I need to I need to know who I need to talk to I was like well to get you to a higher power and to get it all settled and explained to you I would call I will call the CEO and I gave her my CEO's name because I don't know who else she needs to talk to if she's not talked to the business office the clinic I don't know who else she needs to talk to I told my manager about it and my manager said yeah I would tell her to, you know, talk to the CEO because I wouldn't want to pay that stuff either. I wouldn't want to pay no $250 for each visit 
so-called visit and all he is all he's doing is asking her how is she doing he ain't doing nothing to her <laughs> she was frustrated but she calmed down after i explained to her you know being sympathetic and she was like um yeah i'll just come in friday and i was like um since you can't walk that good just pull up to the front call me and i'll just come outside so you, you can get your record she was like no i need to walk i'll just use my walker she's a young girl Younger, younger than me. Maybe seven years younger than me. And she was like, I just want to get these records and talk to whoever I need to talk to. I was like, well, I don't think the CEO will be here Friday, but be sure to call her first thing Monday morning. I gave her the direct number and all that. I'm like, what? I don't know. I don't know the other side of that. But I would be pissed too to get charged 250 times every time the doctor came in to see her to ask her how she was doing. No. <laughs> yeah, I sympathize with her. I sympathize to the mask because there is no way. No way. How cheap I am. You think I'm about to pay another doctor that ain't did shit to me? No, ma'am. But anyways, let me get through cleaning. I just had to come and tell it a little bit because I was still thinking about it. I was like, $250 for each time the doctor just came to say, hey? I... Mm -mm. <laughs> let me know what y'all think. What has that ever happened to y'all? Because that's crazy. $200. Yeah, let me know if that's happened to y'all and do y'all get separate bills? Well, I'm sure y'all get separate bills for the hospital and whatever, whatever, but she, yeah, hopefully she get, get this figured out. Um, yeah, because I wouldn't even know what to do, where to start. But anyways, let me get done. Happy Thanksgiving to all of my subscribers. I hope you all are spending time with y'all's family and eating real good because that's what I've been doing. Well, I've been sampling just the charcuterie board because uh, the neighbor the neighbor is cooking, smoking the meats and all that stuff and Joey is about to deep fry the turkey and yeah, I'm about to get me some more cheese, pour me a little wine. I feel like I won't take a nap. I think it right now is just what time is it? 9.30, 10? I don't know what time it is. <laughs> but I think we're going to eat around 1 o'clock or so, 1.30. <sighs> and it's cold outside. Mm -hmm. Go figure. But anyways, y'all, I was just getting on the camera to say good, about to say good afternoon. Happy Thanksgiving, and I will see y'all later.